We're going to take a look at the all-new XR10 Pro G2S. That is right, folks. There is a new XR10 Pro in the lineup, the G2S, the replacement for what is a tried and true G2. And we're going to take a look at what's different in this new G2S. It's more than what meets the eye. There is a completely new internal structure, a new case, and a very, very cool new fan design as well. This is brand new. I, I got to see one of these um, many, many months ago, and I had to, I got to look at it for like a couple days, then I had to send it back to the qualified people that were doing all the tests. So this will be my first kind of like up close look at it, but ah, cue the angel song. <laughs> But uh, to the, get these out of here, you get a little slide, and there you have it. So the first thing you notice is the fan, but there's much more to the changes than just the fan and some new markings on the case. And we're going to get into all of that here in just a second. Look what else is in the box. You get your best friend in the whole wide world besides these videos, the instruction manual. You also get a backup fan, which I'm a big <laughs> fan of, but this is the new style of fan. It's a cageless fan. So we'll get into that here in just a minute. And of course you get some sweet hobby wing decals. I have a nice collection of these. Take a nice look here at this all new XR10 Pro G2S. Shares a lot of the firmware that you're used to from the original G2. Uh, just has some new stuff for the drag brake tuning. And as we uh, alluded to this new fan design that helps uh, take advantage of the new case and internal designs as well. Focus has been on making the speed control more durable, and a big part of that is dissipating the heat. So the new heat sink, the new fan, the new internal in construction, as well as the new internal BEC are all designed to help the speed control last a lot longer in very harsh conditions. So this fan actually because it's a, a cageless fan, it moves more air, but doesn't draw more current. So the fan is actually more efficient in the amount of airflow that it moves, and that helps keep the speed control cooler without adding any load to the speed control. A lot of times you put upgraded fan on your speed control, it's faster, but that doesn't really do much to help reduce the internal temperatures of the BEC, because the BEC is what powers the fan. So if your fan can just move more air at the same amount of power, you're gonna get overall a much more efficient design of the fan. Inside the speed control, there's also been a bunch of changes to the way the boards are laid out and updates, obviously, you know, the engineers are always hard at work to make the inside of these speed controls a lot better. And the, the form factor remains pretty much the same. The other thing is the BEC has been improved to help deal with uh, today's servos, the amount of voltage, I guess that HV charging, a lot of the real aggressive gearing and turbo setups have been very hard on the speed controls BECs. So they've made lots of changes to make that work a lot better as well. Like any of the XE run series speed controls, you will need to pick up a programmer if you want to do the setting changes on this. It works with the OTA or with the LCD programming box as well. What is this? This is the instruction manual. Look at all those settings. So the big change in the tuning aspects is the, where'd it go? I just had it here a second ago. The drag brake rate. This controls how quickly the drag brakes apply. So the speed control has been eternally adjustable. You get one kilohertz adjustments of your frequencies if you use the customized table, which is great for fine tuning but adding the ability to control how quickly the drag brake applies is also uh, allowing drivers to really enhance the mm, perfect brake feel, if you will. So drag brake is something that folks are always kind of struggling with in different conditions, and this allows you to really kind of get how quickly the drag brakes come on. So you can control um, them coming on immediately when you get to neutral, having uh, varying levels of delay, I guess is the easy way to explain it, but it controls like think about your drag brake as going into the throttle, into the corner and then smashing on the brakes. It controls how quickly you're smashing on those brakes. The, uh, the, the main core settings are all this, pretty much, I don't wanna say the same, but they've remained easy for you to wrap your head around and understand if you're familiar with what's going on with the XR10 line of speed controls or any of the XC runs. Uh, G2S also gets the motor wire swapping. So you can swap the A and the C wires on the speed control to the motor to get that super custom you know, wire routing. Some people 
people don't like when the wires cross when they go back to the motor, that setting allows you to adjust all. So everybody always wants to cut to the chase. What is new? What is different? What, what changed? Uh, big things to look at here are the external changes, obviously, but there are some very important internal changes that help with the efficiency of the setup. The new fan moves more air at the same amount of power input to the fan. So you're not making the BEC do any extra work to move more air, which is super important. Keeps everything cooler and more efficient. Internally, structure has been changed up a little bit to allow better cooling, heat transfer, all that of the important parts. The speed control now comes with the more favored uh, 13 gauge wire as well. And it does have updated drag brake tuning. There's a drag brake rate feature that allows you to really fine tune that drag brake feel for different track conditions. The speed control also has reverse voltage protection built in. If you were to hook this up backwards, the cap that comes included will pop, but you can just replace the cap and away you go. We do also offer non-polarity capacitors that can be installed as an uh, upgrade as well for ultimate and safety. You probably have more questions, comments, and concerns, and that's understandable. This is just a quick unboxing and look at the all new XR10 Pro G2S. We'll have an in-depth look at this using uh, either of the programmers, the LCD box or the OTA with the smartphone app and we will get into installs and all that fun stuff. But this is just a quick, like I said, unboxing and look at the all new XR10 Pro G2S. Thanks for watching everybody. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, shoot us an email in North America at hobbywing.com. We'll see you next time.